one week later. Why do you want to marry Ken in secret? Don't you think that Kareem would suffer a lot more if you had a really big wedding? We have to, Melissa. Don't you think I'd like a wedding, but... But what will happen to Miss Natalia? How can you be so sure that she doesn't want you as a daughter? You don't even know her that well. She doesn't want me. She's been giving me the cold shoulder ever since we met. That's because she's a remote person. It doesn't mean that she doesn't like you. I know that woman wouldn't let me marry Ken, Melissa. I don't understand why she wouldn't want to have a daughter like you. I guess, if you say so, you must know something. But Anna, maybe Ken can persuade her to have a big wedding if you wait for a little bit. I can't do that. What if Ken changes his mind? What if that woman persuades Ken otherwise? No way, Ken's a grown up. He's not some child obeying his mother. You don't know Miss Natalia, do you? She would do anything. I can't risk it. You know better, I guess. <sighs> I'd better get going. Don't be late either. Anna? Did you talk to your mother? Talk to her about what? She's coming to the wedding, right? See you. See you. Since Anna is staying over at Melissa's house, she doesn't need a room anymore. You should move in here. But mom, I'm very happy with our room. Well, I am not. Listen, this place is more spacious, it's better. You'd be more comfortable in here. <sighs> Don't you huff and puff. Now take all of these clothes away. I'm running late for school again. You won't be late. Come on, I'm doing all of this for you, you know. Anna? What happened? Weren't you comfortable at Melissa's house? I've given your room to Sarah now, since you rarely come here anymore. That seems great. What do you mean that's great? Are you actually moving out of this house for good then? Uh, I'm gonna get married. What? I'm getting married to Ken. Oh, hooray! Oh, thank God. God, thank you. All of my prayers have finally been answered. You're getting married, Sis, I'm so daughter. happy. When are you getting married? Tell me everything. How did this happen? He proposed to me, and I said yes. What more can I tell you? Where did he propose? How did he do it? Tell us. Why do you want to know that? Oh, come on. Don't say fine, fine. Don't tell me anything just as long as you marry him. The details aren't that important. Champagne or wine or... Listen to me. He should buy you a house or something else before you get married. Don't just marry without anything. Tell me, did he give you a diamond? Let me see. Here it is. Oh. Sis, this is such a big diamond. That would cost at least $30,000. Of course it did. Come on now. What else did you expect? She's marrying a Viral. You can't expect Ken Viral to buy his future wife and queen a tiny stone. But this here, this is as big as a walnut. Don't exaggerate, Mom. At least say hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs> Mom, don't. Ow. <laughs> So, when are they coming here to ask for your hand in marriage? Mom, what are you talking about? Well, I, isn't he going to come over here? No way, Jose. Uh-uh. Ken should come over here and kiss my hand. So you won't let me marry him if he doesn't? Of course I'll let you marry him. <laughs> Since you two love each other so much. Uh. Come on. Aren't I right, though, Anna? This is your wedding day, hon. Shouldn't my new son-in-law come here and kiss my hand? Well, okay, okay, silly. You can get married. <laughs> I was just joking. Uh, so when will you get married? But listen to me. Give us at least a month to prepare. We need at least a month. You know we don't have enough money to pay for a ceremony. Anyway, we'll find it from somewhere. We won't have a ceremony, Mom. I don't understand. Why not? We're getting married tomorrow. Tomorrow? Sis, have you gone mad? Oh my god, Anna, you can't do this. Wait, why are you in such a rush? How can you get married without having a ceremony? Mom, tell me, do you want me to get married to Ken or not? Of course I want you to marry him. So then stop with all the complaints. Well, I guess we'd better go shopping then. We barely have the time to buy something appropriate to wear for this. Mom, wait. Uh, Anna, Sarah doesn't... 
have anything to wear either. We, we have to buy her a new dress. Mom, will you listen to me? What, my dear? You're rushing me off my feet. I have to go to the hairdresser, manicure, pedicure. Mom, will you just listen to me? You're not invited. Excuse me? It's not just you. No one is invited. And why is that? It just has to be this way. So you're getting married without us? Without your family? Mom, look. No one is going to be there. It'll be me, Ken, and two witnesses. Hi, Mom. Is dinner ready yet? I'm so hungry. Hey, Mom. What happened? Nothing. Then why are you crying? Tell me what happened today. What else can you expect me to do? You've seen what your sister did. I've been crying my poor eyes out all morning. I feel so used, working myself to the bone for someone who doesn't even want to invite me to her wedding. Mom, never mind that. How can I not? You should be crying also. She doesn't want you either. Why aren't you taking any offense? Well, maybe there's a reason? What reason could there be? She's getting married to a very rich guy. And she's ashamed of us. That's why she doesn't want us in her wedding. But I will not. Won't let her get away with it. I will make her pay for this. You mark my word, she will pay. Come, Mom, don't be so ridiculous. Is this why I wanted her to get married to Ken? So that she can throw me away like garbage? <laughs> Don't cry now, Mom. <laughs>